Millie Weaver reporting for Infowars.com. We are here at the Latino Festival Parade in Washington, D.C., also known as Fiesta D.C. Today there's going to be a parade in which it's going to be showcasing the Latino culture. Let's go ask these Latinos whether they support Donald Trump or open borders. Who do you plan to vote for this election? Oh, I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. <laughs> what do you think about Donald Trump? Interesting character, but he has some kind of, uh, kind of ideas that can go either way, but uh, he's the Republican candidate. Donald Trump is a, is a case. He has his business side. He's aware of all that. Not a big fan of Donald Trump and his views on Hispanic and especially the Mexican community. I love the Mexican people. I love Hispanics. I love the spirit of the Mexican people. I love them. Oh, look at that Latino! I'm not in favor of his policies. I don't even think people like him would appreciate festive cultural events like these and celebrating diversity, celebrating humanity. We won with women, we won with men, we won with Hispanics, we won with African Americans, we won with every, virtually every category. You know who I'm leading with? I'm leading with the Hispanics that are here legally. Well, it's a little controversial just because of the negativity that we get from one side and the positivity we get from the other. Open borders or closed borders? Um, my brother was to answer that question. <laughs> Open borders. And why? I have a question for you. Why do you believe we should close them? Don't you think we should have a good process to let people in legally? Yes, but every person has a different situation in their country where here there's more opportunities. And what if you were in a life-threatening situation? Wouldn't you want to leave your country to protect your family and yourself? I understand that. Um, I'm just asking whether or not you think that we should come into the country legally or not. I think we should come in legally, yes. Do you think that if people had more options to come in legally that they could actually have more opportunities in America? Yes. I think they can. Like they could get better paying jobs and with benefits and things? Yes. Yes, I do. So I encourage legal citizenship. I encourage it, and I would encourage it, and I would encourage Hispanics, and I would encourage people from all over. But what I don't encourage is people coming into our country illegally. We're going to hopefully get a lot of people coming in, and they're all going to come in legally. We're going to get rid of the bad ones, because we have some really bad ones in here right now. And you know that gang members in L.A., you look at some of these gangs, they're 100 percent illegal immigrants. I definitely need to be more secured uh, just for our safety based on all the things that we've been going through and to protect ourselves and protect what we've been working for for this whole time. And what do you think about the risk of the cartel coming through the borders with them open? Uh, it scares me uh, because that very much could happen. We don't know, but I definitely think that if they increase security and they keep people of where we can do in case things like that happen, it'll benefit us and help us. Um, I mean, I guess they should screen people to, I guess, protect the United States. The U.S. has become a dumping ground for everybody else's problems. Some, I assume, are good people. But I speak to border guards, and they tell us what we're getting. Personally, I believe that everyone should come here knowing who you are. You know, you can't be hopping around different areas. It's best to respect every government in that way. Yeah. Canada, what about that border? You know? Well, Canada actually has a very secure border, and they don't let many people into their border, and they do vet people. We do know that there is a problem in Mexico right now in which the Mexican people have been victimized by cartels there. Securing the border lines against cartel members and people who are victimized from cartel members would be important as well. I think that there's a lot to be done with immigration policy itself. 
I don't think it's necessarily the system, it's the people that handle it. Illegal immigration each year costs us between 200 and 300 billion dollars. I don't know if anybody gives you those numbers, probably not. But, and when you include crime and other problems, it's more than that. Between E-Verify, which will take care of a big portion of them, can go back. And you know what? If they can't get a job, they're going back anyway. We don't have so, to knock on so doors. I guess About a year and a half ago, Anthony Gucciardi just said, man, I just did a Dr. Grip's liver cleanse, the one he recommends, and he's developing this proprietary stuff he's testing on himself right now. You really ought to do it. The results are dramatic after six days. And I'm like, no way, no way I'm doing it. I don't believe that there's giant black or green balls in my gallbladder, and this is how ignorant I am. And he's like, look at it online. I'm not looking at it online. Stuff like that grosses me out. I don't want to go there. Well, finally, about six months ago, they convinced me to do it. I personally think everybody should go through a liver cleansing if you haven't done one. Results speak for themselves. I mean, hundreds of thousands of people have done this and, and it dates back even a thousand years drinking oils to cleanse and purge the liver. Actually the Greeks and the over in India with Ayurvedic medicine have done it the same way but how it works is what you should do and this is what our proprietary research led us to do back starting in the early uh, 90s when we were looking at the best ways to cleanse the liver was to develop an herbal formula that contains herbs that will help soften or break down these globules are these stones in the liver and the gallbladder. This liver shield is the high quality proprietary liver trex developed by Dr. Grip that we've private labeled through him and it's extremely strong, extremely concentrated, extremely high powered. You combine that with the oxy powder, oxygen based intestinal cleanser, dietary supplement, clinically tested. We have them discounted at the lowest price you're going to find anywhere. Infowarslife.com. Obviously folks should probably talk to their healthcare provider before they do this. This is one of the single biggest results, if not the biggest I've ever seen in my life life literally in a six-day period this is something anybody can do obviously the literature is well known on what liver cleanses do this is the best one out there from our research infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139